morning, everyone. It is morning. And for a first, I'm the first one awake. <laughs> everyone else is sleeping soundly in their tents. And they're probably awake now. This morning, I'm going to test out a new little toy that I got here in my pocket. So I picked this up in uh, Grand Prairie. This is a stove. I'm gonna cook myself some tea. Got rooibos tea, some oatmeal. And this stove, it's gonna attach onto here. I've never used this before. So this is it. It's called the Crux. It was on sale, 44 bucks Canadian. I paid more for my meal in Jasper. So can't go wrong trying it. Got my little uh, collapsible bowl here, nice and thin. Fill that with water, set that on that, and so off we go. Why don't we try that right now? I think I just turned this on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test this. It's only been three minutes. We have steam and bubbles. I'm impressed. All right, time for a little trip update. So yesterday we left Edmonton, Alberta and we drove all the way to Dawson Creek, which is where we are right now. Today, the goal to go from here all the way up almost into the Yukon. So we're gonna go to Fort Nelson, maybe a little bit further. So as we go further north, hopefully it gets a little cooler and uh, Boys, I never thought I'd hear myself say that. But anyways, hopefully it gets a little bit cooler. I know Northern BC is spectacular, so I've got high hopes for some nice winding roads and beautiful scenery. And we're off. We had a good coffee. Next stop is gonna be Pink Mountain. Pink Mountain's about 200 kilometers away. We'll stop there, and then Fort Nelson's gonna be about another 260 kilometers from there, so should be a pretty easy day. A nice little bridge coming up. Kinkatanawa Bridge. Ooh, look at those rocks. Wow. That's a, the river's not real high. Well, these bridges are always fun. Kind of a, a metal bridge. Look at that river. Woo. These type of metal bridges the metal grate bridges, they make your bike kind of wag around quite a bit. Red Diamond Lodge. Probably for workers working out here, there's a lot of road construction and you're pretty much far, far from everything. You got about another 40 kilometers, give or take, to get to a place called Pink Mountain. Pink Mountain Shopping Mall. <laughs> this is Northern BC and it's a beautiful ride. The roads are real nice shape, nice and curvy and swoopy. So this truck has got to go really slow because this is a big canyon. And there's some tight, tight turns. We got a little bridge of gas coming up. It's the Canny Chief. said the next river I come to, I'm gonna stop. If there's a little river here, I'm going to douse myself. Is that a river? Can we get to the river? We can, and I'm going to. And this gives us a little practice on gravel road. Can we get to the river from here? I think we can. It's like 36 degrees or something ridiculous. Found this little place to park and take a little walk in. Try not to freak out any bears that might be here. Ooh, it's all rocky. At this point, it's so hot, I don't care if my boots get wet. Amazing. 
that was completely worth it. Man, that was a big bug. I don't know if you, you might have even heard that. <laughs> We're 62 kilometers in. Hold on here, I need to get a... There we go. Jeremy just gave me a pepperoni stick and uh, I think that'll be a good snack for while we're going. <laughs> my right we have what looks like would have been a forest fire or maybe a beetle that killed all those trees and off to my left we have what's the beginning of the northern BC Rockies we're getting pretty close to Fort Nelson I think we're gonna try to find a spot to camp tonight while it's getting far and few between campgrounds so sometimes that's your only option right down there somewhere's are there I guess this looks like it right here. Well. Nothing saying we can't go there and here. This is a nice forest. It's like those elm trees or something. Nice long tall. Well, let's see what's down here. It's just rocks. Seems to be pretty hard packed. So apparently we've got a little challenging spot. Uh, that's not challenging. And Jeremy almost lost it there. <laughs> She's a little squirrely. We'll survey the situation a bit. All right, so my ax has come in handy for the kickstand. Now I'm gonna find him a stick. Here. Just put a kickstand on that. So all three of us have made it out this far on the crusty, crusty, Sandy, sandy beach. <laughs> so now we're gonna try to figure out if we can find a place to, to camp without getting run over by what looks to be like rogue four-wheelers here. So we finally got the three bikes in position. There were no crazy incidences to report, as you would have seen. Uh, there were lots of sand spinning, lots of fun. Uh, we got the tents going up here. We're on this beautiful beach. What's the name of this water again? Wasaga? Piti? I'm gonna post it right below because I can't remember. It's a river, it's a river. yeah. It's we're... A river. It flows into Fort Nelson River. Okay, so this is a river. They're correcting me over here. It, <laughs> it's near Fort Nelson. It flows into the Fort Nelson. Doesn't really matter. Look at it. It's running water. It's awesome. We got all this sand here and all that forest there. That's where the bears live. We talked to some locals. They said, yeah, there's some bears over there, but they won't bother you. We'll be fine. We'll be fine.